Okay, Mr. Ballion here. I'm going to just uh, get right to the end where we're going to set up our render setting, okay, for this shot. All right, first things first, you need to be in your perspective view. Uh, find a nice, uh, kind of like an isometric view that shows your entire modeling uh, exercise, the activity. Here we are, and a couple things. Fourth clapper here, one, two, three, four. We start off here. And hopefully, uh, maybe this will be on Maya software first, and then I'll change it to Arnold Render. I'll come over here, and, and then I'm going to call this my set design. Uh, JPEG is the shot type that we want, and this is later for animation, name, underscore, extension. Uh, the key here, the takeaway here, is the layout. So right now it's 1024, 768, but you guys are making a final shot, so let's crank this up, okay? we'll just go right to HD 1080 okay another thing I'm doing here and I'm changing the quality of the resolution I'm making this 150 okay so there's more pixels in your shot and here's the most important thing when you start this off I think it's like a 222 two, two. only do this when you're ready for your final shot so I'm just gonna um, extend this to 6 okay I'm going to extend this to 6 and maybe this one to 3 right there and this is your setting remember the second tab 1 2 6 and 3 let's try that and worst case I'll pump uh, this push this up to 4 but let's see how this shot's going to look in the IPR world um, again that's not how I'm going to save it but I, sh I, I can certainly save it so we'll see it's going to take a bit of time as you can see there's a blue screen over there uh, that shows you the progress this should be done under 30 seconds or maybe even faster oh wait there's a second render going on here so this shot is there I could see it and notice that it's still going so it's gonna clear up all this haziness here okay and because it's such a um, I have it at such a high setting this is gonna take a long time so we'll just go back for a second do a test with just let's say 3 and 2 and you can see the difference in the shot 3 and 2 here uh, render setting so if I go to the uh, IPR right now this should be a little faster okay normally you wanna you wanna be in this mode until you're ready for your final shot okay so it's a 19 20 10 80 that little blue bar is going here I can see it Let's see if I could pause for now and come back alright okay so here's the shot right now uh, that I took with the setting of 3 and 2 Okay, so what I'm going to do up here is I'm going to save this. You can certainly go to File, Save Image, and save this, okay? So this will be a test render of my shot. Okay? Shot. Okay, so just watch the difference. You've got this one, and then, uh, and it's RGB Gamma, just so you remember. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to crank this to 6, and maybe 3 for now, and watch. I can even go to 4, like... Anyway, six is fine, three is fine. Again, only do this when you're ready for your final shot. Okay, so we're gonna come in here and we're gonna go to IPR one more time and it's going to update for us. And I'm gonna, it's gonna take a bit of going to is here. See, you can see that's going through here. Um, and hopefully it'll be like less hazy down here. See, it's gonna go one more time. So I'm just gonna pause here. Okay, so I'm changing it to 4 and 3 and testing it again, and I'll get back to you guys in a, in a few minutes, okay? I'm going to try it at 4 and 3. 6 and 3 was taking way too long. You need a super fast computer to pull that off, okay? And this is going to take quite some time already with just, uh, because 1, 19, 20, 10, 80, it's HD, and just a couple passes here. The granular will change, hopefully. I'll get back to you guys in another minute. Okay, so that took two minutes at that setting. Okay, so two minutes. And again, in reality, this shot is going to look like this in Photoshop, okay, or Illustrator. So remember this. Okay, we'll save it here. And let's just compare. Yeah, not much difference between four and, yeah, okay. So that says a lot here. All right, so what I'm thinking at this point, because there isn't much difference between this setting and the previous one, I could go and just leave this at two and I could run this at three and then again if you're at home and you want to crank these up these two that's fine but for now I'm not I'm gonna leave it at like this and the way we're gonna save our shot is not through IPR 
Okay, we're just going to come back here. I have my whole shot set up. I'm going to come under Arnold, open Arnold render view right here. And then uh, this is the previous uh, render I was doing, but you have to select this. And your exposure is going to be at zero. Look at the difference. So I'm going to change this to one again from the previous uh, recording. Here's the setting. Change the exposure to one. RGB gamma. That's cool. And let's click it. And it's going to start rendering for us. Okay. We'll pause for the cause and come back and see if this is actually a good setting or not. Okay, so this isn't too bad. I think we can survive with this kind of setting, so it's not going to take that long uh, to render our shot. So I have this now. I need to save it. A couple things as before. Um, uh, where is it? Save image options. Yeah, we want to change this to RGB gamma. Remember that, please. And apply the exposure, which I did. Okay, so again, I'll show you one more time. File, save image options. Make sure this is an RGB gamma. Okay, so if you go to RAW, this is still good, right? You can see it. But RGB gamma is good. Apply gamma exposure right here. We're good. And I'm going to close that. And finally, I'm just going to go File, Save Image. And then I'm going to call this My Final Shot, whatever, Final Shot. Okay, AB for Balian 01. All right, so I'm done. So this is good. I hope uh, this wasn't too long, six minutes and a half. So I guess I can review things one more time. So uh, another thing that I did mention in the past video, as you guys know, if I didn't have that light right here, Arnold, Arnold lights, I brought the sky dome in and noticed the difference. And the reason why you could see that, I have the light bulb on, boom, boom. Uh, another thing, fourth clapper, we went to three and two. So, you know, technically I could do four and two or four and three. Um, there wasn't much difference. Okay, so that was it. So what we did over here under custom we went down to HD that's the shot you want 1080 boom okay and then I, I cranked this up to 150 that's what I also did Arnold render and you can go four and three here or three and two it's more than enough it's fine um, I'm gonna crank down the specular because I shouldn't have put reflection on the bottles but that's okay okay so we've got that and lastly, we will close that. That was the fourth clapper with the settings. And then you're going to go into render view and you're going to save it out. OK, so there's a bug in here. Sometimes I see it, sometimes I don't. OK, uh, I think that should work. If I click this, nothing's going to show because it's, it's hidden somewhere here. Um, that's our shot and we'll work from there. Hopefully this makes sense. Take care, Valiant out.